Hello, this is Virginia with Butterfly Journey Human Services and Ministries, and this is also Doers of the Word Bible Study and Fellowship. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you can find time to make time to listen to this wonderful message from the Heavenly Father's wonderful love letters. We're going to open up with prayer and we're going to get into some prayers for emotional wholeness. Dear Heavenly Father, Almighty Yahweh, Yahuwah, our Creator, King of the Universe, thank you, thank you, thank you for waking us up today or tonight. Thank you for watching over us as we were sleeping. Thank you for the beautiful earth that you prepared and created for us to live upon and live in. Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful day. Beautiful day that you blessed us with. Even though it may be raining, even though it may be scorching heat, even though it could be something that is going on in our lives that seems like a storm. Heavenly Father, it is a beautiful day because your mercies are new every morning, every day. Your mercies are new. Thank you for waking us up today. Thank you for watching over us. Thank you for a roof over our head, clothes and shoes to wear, trans transportation. Thank you for the transportation you provide for us, even if it's just walking on our two feet or we have some other kind of mode of travel. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you that we have food to eat. Some places in the world do not have food. We pray that they do have food. Heavenly Father, thank you for the water you provide for us to drink. Some places in the world do not have water to drink. I pray that you bless those countries and nations with water and food, Heavenly Father. Thank you for electricity. Some places in the world do not have electricity, Heavenly Father. We pray that they do have electricity. Heavenly Father, thank you for all your many blessings, past, present, and future. We should give thanks to you every day because we need you, Heavenly Father, every second, minute, hour, day, week, month, year, and beyond. We need you every day and every way, Heavenly Father. We need you in our work life, our career life, our business life, our family life, our lives of our friends and co-workers. We need you, Heavenly Father, in making wholesome, godly, righteous, good decisions in our lives that will be beneficial to us and those around us, our family and friends. Heavenly Father, that will be beneficial in serving, obeying, seeking you, Heavenly Father. Teach us your righteous ways, Heavenly Father. In these days of Noah, days of Lot, and last days we're now living in. Teach us to live holy, pure, and righteous. Teach us how to guard and love you and love your word. Teach us how to guard your word and obey your word and do your word, Heavenly Father, as we are spending more time in your love letters, the holy love letters that you provide for us to read. Heavenly Father, we pray for our family members, those who may not know you. We pray for our friends who may not know you. Heavenly Father, we pray for anyone who don't know you, that they'll come to accept, believe, and receive you right now while there's still time to do so. Heavenly Father, we just give all praise and glory and honor and worship to you, Heavenly Father, for your goodness, your healing, your deliverance, your mercy, your peace, protection, power, provision, your wisdom, intelligence, knowledge, understanding, your anointing and discernment and favor. We thank you, Heavenly Father, and we can never thank you enough because you are just awesome and you are always there listening to the prayers of your humble, obedient, clay vessel servant, children, and remnants. We want to thank you for this holy word you provide for us to study and meditate and fellowship with our brothers and sisters around the world, Heavenly Father. And we give all the glory, honor, and praise to you and help us to be prepared for what's coming upon this planet Earth in this universe. In the name of the Messiah, Yeshua, Yeshua, Jesus Christ, and Nazareth, Amen, Amen, Amen. 
Today we are going to be reading from a book called Prayers for Emotional Wholeness. And we're just going to go to some prayers and biblical scriptures out of it. And the title of this particular prayer, <coughs> excuse me, the title of this particular prayer is When I Need Victory Over My Enemy. We all have some form or fashion of enemy in our lives. Our enemy can sometimes be ourselves. Sometimes we can make poor, unhealthy decisions that will affect our physical, emotional, mental, spiritual, and financial outcome. If we make decisions in a haste, if we make decisions without consulting the Heavenly Father, without consulting other, with other God, Yahweh fearing individuals in our lives, we may go ahead and make a poor decision that affects our livelihood, affect our thinking, our, our behavior, and our actions that will not be beneficial, not be healthy to ourselves. Sometimes we create storms of life by what we say and what we do. And also there's other types of enemies. There's external enemies that could be from family, friends, even people from the place of worship. Unbeknown to that individual, he or she may be causing a type A storm or unhealthy uh, reaction, behavior, thinking by their actions and behaviors and, and what they say and do. Also, there's other external enemies that could be affecting us. It could be financial, being in debt, having a, a employment or a business or a job or a career that's not providing enough of financial assistance and salary to meet our needs of food, clothing, and shelter. We could have someone, a loved one even, who is not a believer and lover of the Heavenly Father and may be causing some type of emotional and mental and maybe physical uh, harm and danger to us. And that person either don't know he or she is doing these things or they have a mental or emotional situation in their lives where they don't realize that they are hurting and harming people. We, If we have a type of enemy, well, that's internal with ourselves making some type of poor decisions and poor actions and behaviors that's affecting ourselves or external where there's other individuals or other uh, variables that are causing us to have a type of a depression, despondency, doubt, discouragement, then we need to pray for the Heavenly Father, pray for the Heavenly Father to help us with that situation. Now, we just saw an insect that flew in front of me. That is a prime example. I know this was unplanned. <laughs> you know, sometimes we open our front and our back door to bring things in from outside. And sometimes an insect may, f may come into the house, whether we don't know it. And, and so that was an insect, but that insect it just flew right there in front of me while I was talking about how we should respond to individuals, either ourselves or other individuals that may be causing us problems or may be causing us to be uh, distracted from Heavenly Father, is that we need to stay focused on the Heavenly Father, even in that type of internal or external enemy that's coming against us. So when something or someone comes 
in front of your face like that, just like that insect just did. It was a great lesson uh, to show that we continue to trust and believe and have faith in the Heavenly Father and pray to him through the enemy situation that we are facing. So we're going to go to this section when I need victory over my enemy. And it says, Lord, or Yahweh, Elohim, Almighty, I pray that you will always be on my side in every battle with the enemy of my soul. If you are with me, I will always have victory. If you are with me, I don't need to be afraid or grow weak in the face of an attack. You give me strength to stand and you will always show yourself more powerful than any opposition I have. Help me in the battle I face today. Thank you in advance for the victory you will accomplish on my behalf. And we're going to read a Holy Bible scripture from Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 3. He shall say to them, Hear, O Israel, today you are on the verge of battle with your enemies. Do not let your heart faint. Do not be afraid. And do not tremble or be terrified because of them. And we're going to read another holy scripture prayer and devotional to the Heavenly Father Almighty Yahweh Yahuwah. And this is also under the section when I need victory over my enemy. Dear Lord or Yahweh Elohim Almighty, I pray that you will always keep me protected from the snare of the devil so that I am never taken captive by him to do his will. I know you will do that because I am your child and you love me. Help me to never do anything careless or stupid that will cause me to come out from under the covering of your protection that you give to those who love you and live your way. And we're going to read a Holy Scripture verse from 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 24 to 26. A servant of the Lord, Yahweh Elohim, Most High. The servant of the Most High, Almighty Yahweh Yahuwah, must not quarrel, but be gentle to all, able to teach, patient, in humility, correcting those who are in opposition. If God or Elohim perhaps will grant them repentance so that they may know the truth and that they may come to their senses and escape the snare of the devil, having been captive, have been taken captive, it says here, by him to do his will. So we see from these two verses, Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 3, and 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 24 to 26, that when we are faced with an internal or external enemy, we know that we can go to the Heavenly Father, Almighty Yahweh, Yahweh, our Creator, King of Universes, in the name of His Son, the Messiah, Yeshua, Yeshua, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus the Messiah, by the Holy Spirit, and ask for him to help us through that storm, through that battle, through that difficulty. And 
We do not let our heart be faint. Why? Because we know the Heavenly Father is there with us, helping us through it in his will, his way, and his timing. We will not be afraid. Why? Because we know in our heart with spiritual confidence that the Heavenly Father is there with us as we are obeying and guarding his commandments, his word. We are trusting and believing, have faith in him and his holy word. We are living and doing his word every day in our lives the best that we know how. We are spending time in our private place of prayer every day, reading and or listening to his holy word every day. And we see in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 24-26, the definition of a servant of the Almighty Yahweh Yahweh, a servant of the Most High, would not be argumentative. They would be patient and gentle to all. They would be trying to teach people about the Heavenly Father, not only by what they say, but what their actions and behaviors are displaying. And we we hope to do this. The servants and children and remnants of Alma Yahweh Craig Universes, are doing this not for our benefit, but for the benefit of others that they will come to in repentance, that the Heavenly Father will grant them repentance as they are asking the Heavenly Father forgive us all their sins and that they will know the truth and that they will come to a spiritual enlightenment senses to escape the snare of the devil who has taken them captive to do Satan the devil's will by not coming to Heavenly Father, not listening, not serving, not obeying. And if we if we say the opposite of this, if we read these verses in reverse in Second Timothy chapter two, verse twenty four and twenty six. Satan the devil has taken some people captive. How and why? Because they don't have spiritual sense. They don't they have not been reborn by the Holy Spirit. They have been taken captive as a slave by Satan the devil because their senses have been dulled and they have not taken the opportunity to ask for forgiveness of their sins to Ask Heavenly Father to know the truth and to repent of their sin. Heavenly Father will grant their repentance so they will come to know the Heavenly Father. And when they do, when they do come into the Heavenly Father's loving arms and ask for forgiveness of all their sins and they have repented of all their sins and they are trying their best to live holy, pure, and righteous in these days of Lord, days of light and last days, then the Heavenly Father will help correct those ones who are in opposition to him. Even even ourselves, when we sometimes are in opposition to Heavenly Father, he will correct us in a loving manner so that we will continue in that narrow path of spiritual and physical life by the Holy Spirit, the Heavenly Father. And we'll be humble. We will have the characteristic behavior of humility, patience, able to teach. I mean, we'd be willing to learn the Heavenly Father's words and, and be obedient to his word and will and way. And we have gentleness to every human being, to all it says here. And we will not be arguing, quarrel, we'll not be quarrelsome and arguing with other people. And that's how we will be a servant of the Heavenly Father. And it just doesn't say we will not be uh this doesn't say that we will not make mistakes. Yeah, sometimes as a human being, we may lose our temper. We may become angry about a situation or matter. But we don't continue in that form. We ask the Father help us in that state of, of disappointment, that state of anger, the state of being frustrated. And ask, ask Heavenly Father to help us through the times of frustration, fretting, and and times of being disappointed. Heavenly Father will be there. He's there always waiting for us to come to him in a humble, repentful, contrite fashion. So let's just 
go ahead and summarize what we are learning today from the Heavenly Father's love letters that when we are on the verge of a battle in Deuteronomy chapter 20, the Heavenly Father is there with us because he will help us not to be faint-hearted. He'll help us not to be afraid. He will help us not to tremble. He will help us not to be terrified because of the enemy that we may be facing, internal and externally. Because we know the Heavenly Father is there because we are loving Him, trusting and believing Him and doing His word, work, will, and way. And as a servant of the Almighty, we will not be argumentative we will not quarrel with individuals just to be quarreling. Yes, we may have a point that we want to address and share with people, but it must be in a gentle way, able to teach those ones who are in opposition. We patiently and humbly in the loving way, correcting those who are in opposition to Elohim, the Most High. And we hope and pray that they would be granted repentance by the Heavenly Father so that they will come to know the truth of the Heavenly Father and His Holy Word. The truth, the Word of God, Yahweh, and He says, and Yeshua said this in the Brick Kaddashah, the New Testament, that the truth will set us free, make us free, set us free. And we hope that individuals who will come to the Heavenly Father, they are coming to a spiritual Holy Spirit, reborn by the Holy Spirit senses, and they have been set free from the snare of the devil. They have escaped the snare of the devil, and they are out of captivity, freedom from captivity of Satan the devil, and stop doing Satan the devil's will. So we thank you for this wonderful time to fellowship with us in the Heavenly Father's love letters. And we pray that these scriptures and this devotion will be a blessing to you and your family. Let's Yahweh Elohim will do this again soon as we are trusting the Heavenly Father for his answers to our prayers and his timing and his way. Let's end with prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Almighty Yahweh, Yahweh, I pray the King of Verses, thank you for this wonderful time that you have given us to read and study and meditate your holy word. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We can never thank you enough. He's so good to us in spite of ourselves, in spite of the mistakes that we have made and the terrible behavior that we probably have displayed out of frustration and fear and and doubt and discouragement. Heavenly Father, help us through the enemy's situations that we may be facing right now. Help us to make good, wholesome, righteous decisions that you have given us as we seek your answers in every situation and every matter of our lives. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your holy word, your holy son, the Messiah, Yeshua. Thank you for your holy angels, children, self archangels that surround your humble, beating, clay, the servant, your remnant. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your holy presence that, and your holy hand that's with and on your children, servants, and remnants who are loving you and trusting and believing you and spending time with you every day in their private place of prayer. Thank you, Heavenly Father. And we love you and we ask that you forgive us for all our sins, have mercy on our sinful souls, and teach us how to live holy, pure, and righteous in these days of Lord, days of Lot, and last days. In the name of Messiah, Yeshua, in the name of the name above all names, in the name of the ones who is and was and is to come, by the Holy Spirit, we ask, believe, receive, and thank you, Heavenly Father. Amen, amen, amen. If you like to have more free Holy Scripture, Holy Bible, Torah, Tanakh, Vikasha teachings, free, go to our website at butterflyjourney.tripod.com or go to our YouTube channel, Butterfly Journey Human Services is the name of our YouTube channel. 
and have a wonderful blessed day. Thank you.